Hi, can you do today's thought? Now, if you've been following this vlog for a while, you know that I would occasionally do a poll update, presidential poll update. I haven't done one lately. There's a reason for that. Now, what the poll update is, when I do them, it's real clear politics. They have a, a, a website and they show a table of the last, so I don't know, 10, 11, 12 polls, and then they average them all together to give you uh, an average. Now, the problem I've been having is that they've been changing so much every day that any poll, any table I would show you would be pretty much out of date within 24 hours. Now, what I can tell you is that the average of the polls show uh, Harris ahead of Trump by 1.9 percent. That's an average of about, I didn't count the polls, but I don't know, uh, maybe 10 polls or more or less. But to give you an idea what I'm dealing with, the last four polls, last most recent ones, the four most recent ones, um, Kamala Harris is ahead of Trump by two points in two of the polls. Trump is ahead by two points in one of the polls and they are tied in the other poll and that's the way it's been going back and forth uh, as more polls are taken the the more uh, distant polls will drop off so you never know tomorrow if Trump is up by two points or if you have you know what I mean then the average would change so that's why I haven't done a poll but the the website is real clear politics Dot com. You can go to that website and you can follow uh, the re follow the most recent polls every day just by yourself. And actually, it's an excellent site in, in any case if you're for political news. Actually, the whole real clear. I'll put a big plug in here for them. The whole real clear um, um, set of polls. If you look at the top of that poll of that page, if you go there, you'll see there's a real clear history, real clear science real clear, I think there's health, real clear education, just, and what they do is they aggregate articles, but they take both sides, at least in the politics, they'll, they'll show one, they'll have one article favorable to uh, Democrats, and then immediately below that article will be one favorable to Republicans, so they you get a good balance, so that's all I'm saying, but now to today's thought, which is related to the polls, because it's, when I show you what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to share an article, you will understand why it's really extraordinary that the polls are so close. And you could ask yourself, would they be, well, let's get to what you could ask yourself after I show the article. So I'm just going to show the article now, read you a few, a few uh, paragraphs and, and then get back to it. Oh, and I link to the article if you want to read the whole article. 95% negative coverage of Trump on ABC, CBS, NBC after second assassination attempt uh, report. Network coverage of former President Trump has been overwhelmingly negative since the second assassination attempt against him Sunday, according to one report. Analysts at the Media Research Center, uh, MRC, reviewed 69 minutes of campaign coverage on the ABC, CBS, and NBC evening newscasts between September September 15th and September 17th. MRC reported that although the, the thwarted assassination attempt took up 70% of all campaign news on the networks, a significant amount of that coverage was negative towards Trump. Over the three nights, we tallied 21 evaluative uh, comments about the uh, GOP candidate, 20 of which were negative, which computes to a 95% negative spin score, the MRC reported. Now, what does the MRC uh, do, Media Research Center? That's all they do is they just track newscasts. They uh, track newscasts and they just uh, rate them whether they're positive or negative. And that's very easy. It's very easy to look at a, a newscast, especially if it's about Trump or Harris or really any political figure, and and make an immediate uh, determination whether the coverage is uh, positive or negative. Now, what is so amazing about this is that, well, the question, I said, what question do you have to ask yourself? And this is the question. I just showed you or told you how close the polls are. It's, it's pretty much neck and neck. The polls are 
pretty much within the, the margin of error. And one thing else I, could, I can mention about this average of polls is that if you go back in time, if you bother to go to the website, I'm not going to put up the table, but you can go to the website realclearpolitics.com and get the latest. But the, the more distant polls uh, uh, farther in the past, they would show uh, Harris ahead by four points, five points or something. And now I just gave you the last four She's ahead by two points in only two of the polls, and in one of them, Trump is ahead by two points, and the other one, it's tied. And the question you have to ask yourself is, uh, what if the, the coverage were fair? What if half of the stories, 50, never mind that, what if just 40% or 30% of the stories on Trump were, uh, and re, were fair? Uh, were, were favorable, I mean, to Trump. What if, and imagine that he had just been, there had been an assassination attempt, and <clears throat> how could all that, um, it, it's just amazing that after a, a second assassination attempt in, in about two months, all the, 95% of the coverage is negative. Nothing positive to report about a president, uh, presidential candidate, former president, uh, on whom two uh, assassination attempts were made. And, well, who knows? Maybe, well, I don't want to, I don't want to say that. I was going to say, what if there's a third assassination attempt? But I, I just don't want to go there. So, uh, apologize for that. Uh, well, I didn't say, I didn't complete my thought. Anyways, so that's the question to ask, but another question to ask yourself is, why are you not subscribing to my channel? So I hope you will ask yourself that question. Come to the right conclusion and subscribe to my channel, uh, but in any case, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, they're welcome in the comment section below the video. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it, but most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again, and until I do see all of you again, bye.